Good evening, everybody. Once again, I hope you've had a good day today. Um, our verse for uh, today is going to be out of uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse 31. It says, Whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Amen to that. Because I, I look at that verse, and I was thinking about that all day today, about do it all to the glory of God. And I was thinking, God sent His Son. He's, we should do our best. You know, He sent His best for us, mm -hmm. which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so I think that everything we do to, for the Lord, we should give it 110% mm -hmm. because He gave His Son, Jesus, for us. And when we start, you know, finally getting through this uh, time, uh, and we get to start fellowshipping with each other and, uh, actually still call each other, but, you know, uh, pray to ask God what your purpose is and what you can do and, you know, give all that you have in your heart. And that's what it, that's what matters is, you know, not what people think. It's what God thinks, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and God will lead and guide and direct you the path you should go in. So I definitely want to, uh, be praying about that for myself and for the, those other people that wants to, to see what God has in store for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do uh, go into God's uh, word, let's bow our heads. God, we thank you. We praise you, God. We thank you for today, Lord God. God, we still thank you for your protection, Lord God, over us, Lord God. God, we thank you for your angels that camp out around us, Lord. And God, we thank you for this time, Lord, that me and Marsha get to spend together, Lord. God, and get to uh, spend time with our family and our friends. God, we thank you. We praise you. And you just now pray. Amen. Amen. And, um, you know, this verse in um, Corinthians where Paul is actually talking about, he started talking about the debate the early church had over whether or not they could or should eat meat that had been mm -hmm. sacrificed in idol worship. Um, but that's just one example of where this, of what this verse could apply to, just one example of a situation that this verse could apply to. The truth of what he said in that verse applies to everything that we mm -hmm. do. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. You know, whatever God has called you to do, whatever his purpose for you is, mm -hmm. approach that with the commitment that you're going to do it for God's glory. Not so that anybody will say, hey, you did a great job, mm -hmm. although that's nice. It's nice to hear sometimes, yes, it but is. that can't be your sole motivation. Mm -hmm. um, some purposes might seem more glamorous or more fun than others, but you know, the truth is, if you're walking in your calling, fulfilling mm -hmm. the purpose that God has for you, there's going to be an excitement in your heart about it. Mm -hmm. It will energize you. Even though it might be hard work, you'll get a joy out of doing it that you can't put into words. Um, take Kendall, for example. I hope he doesn't mind me using him as an Alrighty. example. All right, then. Um, but I know one of God's purposes for him is ministering to those who are hurting. Um, I've seen him walk in hospital rooms where people just got the worst news. And in a matter of minutes, he's got them laughing till they're crying and completely lost in the joy of the Lord. He just seems to know the right thing to say uh, just to kind of get their mind off of it or, you know, sometimes on a serious note to mm -hmm. to really show that compassion and empathy for them. Mm -hmm. And he just seems to know when to say something funny and when to say something comforting. Um, you know, and it's hard. It's hard for me going in places like that because the weight of what those people are going through really weighs on my heart and my spirit. And I watch Kendall go in and minister in those situations, and he makes it look effortless. Now, it weighs on his heart and his spirit, mm -hmm. too. But it just, because that's what God has really gifted him to do, it just seems effortless, and it seems like it comes so easy um, to him. It's because the Holy Spirit is the one doing the work, mm -hmm. and Kendall's just being obedient. Um, I have another friend, a lady who loves to clean. Nothing makes her happier mm -hmm. than to be able to clean her church. 
Um, and cleaning is hard work. Look, I know I don't do enough of it. Kendall, <laughs> Kendall does the majority of our cleaning, and I know how hard he works. <laughs> um, but this this friend of mine, she thrives on it. She just exudes a joy. She glows when she's cleaning, and it's because it's what God has called her to do, and mm. and she's okay with that. She loves it. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what God has called you to do, whether it's to be a janitor or the mm. pastor of a fancy mega church or anything, mm. any number of things in between. If it's what God has called you to do, go at it, like Kendall said, 110% wholeheartedly for the glory of God. And you know what? When you're doing whatever God's mm -hmm. purpose for you is, with that attitude and in that motivation mm -hmm. to give God the glory, God will get so much more done than you could ever mm -hmm. imagine. And you you might not even know all the people that it ministers to. And, you know, you m might find out one day and you might not. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, if God has you, if God puts it on your heart to do something, mm -hmm. he's got a purpose for it. And it will give him glory. Amen. Uh, I tell you, I was just sitting here thinking about what she was saying. That, and it is, I mean, and... Going to the hospitals and stuff like that, um, you know, I thank God that He goes before me and prepares the way because, you know, um, there's there's some tough times when you go into hospitals and people going through a lot of stuff, you know. Through, uh, but you know, uh, when the joy of the Lord shows up, you know, and and uh, I thank God for using me because you know I do like to I'm a gift is talking, but I like to it talk is. a lot. <laughs> Apparently it is, because I talk a lot. But anyway, I thank God for uh, for the direction. And that's what I always want to do. Before I go anywhere, I want to ask God to go before me, prepare the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, that I want to leave there, you know, and encourage them. And they encourage me, you know. So mm -hmm. I just I just want to thank God for that opportunity. And uh, before we go, let us let us pray. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for this day, Lord God. God, we thank you for this time of purpose, Lord God. We thank you for, uh, God, that we should give our all, Lord God. You gave your all, Jesus. We thank you for the shedding of his blood, Lord. God, we thank you, God, for ordering our steps, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you and just don't pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, don't forget Barrington's online church uh, service at 7. We'll see you online. Bye. Bye.